Hi everyone, Aiden here at The Trailer. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at and showing you how to install this Solera slide topper on our 2022 Forest River Salem FSX travel trailer. So this one is going to be the black color option. You can see everything from the hardware to the bars and the slide topper itself is gonna be black. So I think for this camper, it blends in pretty well, but I think just as easily you could go with the white option. Both are gonna be the exact same install process and give you the same features, just different looks. So depending on your camper and what style you're going for, you can get it to match. With the black one here, it matches our awning on the other side. So I think it's gonna be an ideal choice for this camper. The slide topper itself is gonna be seven feet and seven inches wide with up to 48 inches of projection. That's how much it can extend. Now with our camper and our slide out here, it fits just fine and we're not even using all of its capacity. So we're all good there. And it's more than wide enough to cover the entire slide out. The slide topper itself is made of a 13.5 ounce vinyl. And it's a really solid material that should hold up pretty well in the cold and especially to things like rain and moisture. Now, why you might want a slide topper, they're gonna be really helpful for situations where you're maybe leaving your camper parked somewhere for a long time, or maybe you're going camping in the fall where things like twigs, leaves, and just general debris is falling down from trees above you. Things that fall on top of your slide out, and then when you bring that slide out back in, all of that stuff gets stuck inside. The slide topper is going to automatically come out and roll back in with the slide out, and keep that whole top area protected. So any leaves or things that collect on top of there is going to just get pushed off whenever you roll your slide out back in, rather than going in through the seams and getting trapped up there. The fact that everything retracts automatically and is under spring tension makes it really convenient to you because you really don't have to think about it once it's installed. And with it all rolled up like this, you can see it's a very clean look. It doesn't stick out super far. All the end caps have covers on them to hide the moving pieces. All of the bolt-on brackets here have covers to hide the hardware. So it's very straightforward. It's a very clean look. And this camper has the prep package. So if you have a different year make model, it might be a little bit different, but for our camper today, it had the brackets pre-installed. So it really eases up the installation process. Speaking of that installation process though, let's walk through it with you right now. Starting off the installation, our process today is gonna to be a little bit easier just because our camper has the prep kit for the slide topper. The way you can tell that is by going to your slide out and seeing if you have these cover plates in place and these brackets pre-installed. And above that, right below our rain gutter, we're gonna have another set of tracks. That's another piece that our slide topper will go into. So if you don't have this exact year make model of camper that we have, but you're still watching this video to kind of see the process, be sure to check your own camper. This part number and this kit will still work for you, but if you have the prep kit, you just don't need all the pieces that come in the kit and you don't need to follow all the installation steps. So we're gonna be showing you how to install it with the prep kit today. Back on the ground, we can take the slide topper, find our extension rods and these Phillips head screws. These extension rods are gonna get slid into the end caps over here with the holes on one end matching up with the holes in the end caps and getting secured down with that Phillips head screw on both sides. Now we wanna come back up top and turn our attention back to the pre-installed brackets. Again, your camper might have them installed already if you have the prep package, but even if you do, you do wanna take a closer look at them and make sure that all the hardware is there. Ours are pre-installed, but only with two of the mounting screws in. These middle three holes are empty. Now this bracket is gonna have a lot of pressure on it once the slide topper is fully installed and extended. So we wanna make sure all the hardware is there so the bracket is fully secured. Your kit does come with all those pieces, so just grab the remaining three screws that it needs. A square bit will be required and then get those attached through the mounting locations. Once all the screws are in, if they weren't already, we can take this plate right here that our slide topper will slide into. This will also mount up to the bracket, but there's two height positions we can choose from. You can see there's four slots right here that will correspond to the two slots on the bracket we just screwed in. So we can have it in this lower position 
or in this higher position if we need additional clearance from our slide out. Ours is pretty close to the rail where we're gonna be mounting up the other piece of the slide topper. So I'm gonna go for this lower position here and just slide it into position, making sure it's flush with the bracket on both ends. And we can come back through and screw this down later. We want this loose right now, so whenever we're getting our slide topper installed and inserting those extension rods, we have room to move this and slide it around on both sides if need be. So again, repeat this on both sides and we can move on. At this point, we're ready to get the slide topper into this top channel and get it mounted up to those brackets on the slide out itself. Now with this, you're gonna need an extra set of hands just to help feed it in. And because we've got everything pre-installed, our track actually runs pretty much the whole length of the gutter here. So we're gonna have a little bit more distance to slide. Just something to keep in mind before we get up here with the slide assembly. The other thing to take a look at is where your channel ends. That's where we're gonna be feeding the slide topper in through. Ours has the rain gutter coming out right here and it's a little bit in the way. So depending on how things look when we get up here, we may need to do a little bit of trimming, but I think we should be able to flex it out just enough because it is a somewhat flexible material to get that polycord piece into the track. Just some things to keep in mind before we get this up here. And then at the very end here, if you want to use something like a flathead screwdriver to open up a little bit more, you can just bend the metal out and then maybe take a file to any sharp edges and file those down a bit so it's a little less harmful to the slide topper. Now I've got two extra sets of hands, one on the other end of the slide out for whenever I get it slid over there and one helping to support it on this side as I get it started because our track doesn't start until the very front of the camper right here. So we're gonna take the polycord end and just start feeding that into the track being careful around those hard edges. And it might be a little bit difficult to get started. Like I said, if you need to pull down on that rain gutter a little bit, you can. With that flare opened up, it's a lot easier to slide it in. I can already feel the difference. So we'll just slowly and carefully work it over from one side to the other where our extra set of hands can grab it and help guide it over. And what I'm going to do is slide our first extension bar. I'll get this slid in on this side all the way until the other side has enough clearance to get their extension rod slid into the bracket. And then once that side is in, we can bring it back over, making sure that everything's centered up and those brackets are still centered up on the mounting brackets. Now, once you have the slide topper centered up side to side, you can measure it out with a tape measure on this point to make sure the overhang matches on each side and that'll let you know if it's centered. You can take a few of your hardware pieces and get everything secured. First things first, on the bottom holes here on this bracket, we're gonna have some set screws. I've already got one partially started right now. And you can see that there's four holes in total. So depending on the height setting you used, you'll use either the top holes or the bottom holes for the set screws. And it's a good idea to just take a peek at the bracket that we slotted into behind it. And you'll see that for our application, this top set of holes is the one that lines up with that bracket. So we can use the set screws and start running those in. The Allen key is not provided in your kit, so you will need to provide your own and just run those down until they're flush. I'll do that in just a second. The other thing we wanna take a look at is the two silver self-tapping screws in our kit. Those will go into these extension arms through the two holes up here. Now, because we're not leaving this slide topper installed, we're doing this for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to drill these in and permanently modify those extension bars, but it is completely necessary for your install if you're leaving this in place. So just run those down wherever you've got this set up. And then in addition to that, there's gonna be two smaller black self-tapping screws that will go in place up top to hold the anchored end of the slide topper into the channel. Again, just going in about an inch 
and getting that run down to hold it in place. All of those screws are completely necessary. You'll only do it once for your installation and then it'll be set. And it's gonna be kind of different positioning depending on your install, depending on how these are all spaced out. But these are gonna be the anchor points to help hold everything still, keep it anchored when we're going down the road and make sure that nothing shifts on us and it stays right where we set it. Once the set screws are in place and all your other hardware is in place, you can take this panel right here and just slide it into these tracks to cover up all of those open threads and the set screws. It's not required, but it's just a piece to kind of clean up the look and reduce the amount of hardware that you actually see. And if your whole bracket slides, then that means your set screws are probably not tight enough. So go back and tighten those down if you need to. Now, before we get this unrolled, we wanna make sure we remove these silver clips. These are your spring clips that actually put tension on the slide topper here. So just give it a little bit of a rotation with your hand and use something like a flathead screwdriver to take those silver clips and just pop them out. Once you relieve the tension on them by rotating this, they'll probably pop out mostly on their own anyway though. Do that on both sides and then carefully get it unrolled. Make sure that everything is unrolling square and straight and then make sure it rolls back in too. Once you've got that done, you can get those two black self-tapping screws that I mentioned before and secure the anchored end of the slide topper in place, but you wanna do that last so that you can make sure everything is square first. Once we've verified that everything slides out and back in with no issues and everything's square where we want it, then we're done. Overall, it's a pretty straightforward installation process and the fact that this camper came with the prep package made it a lot easier. Again, depending on your camper setup, if you don't have the exact same year make model, then be sure to check and just make sure. But the kit does come with everything you need to get set up. You just have to do a little bit of extra setup if you don't have that prep package. Other than that though, it's gonna be a really solid option to keep the slide out nice and clean and keep all of the dirt and debris and leaves from piling up on top.